so welcome to this video in this video we are going to solve the following problem the problem states given that the velocity of a particle in rectilinear motion which means in one dimension varies with the displacement x according to the equation x dot that's the velocity is equal to b which is a positive constant times x to the negative 3 and the question is find the force acting on the particle as a function of x we have a hint in the problem to solve how to use now before we start solving the problem let's make a comment first because this is one dimensional motion so I'm gonna draw my axis which I will call the x-axis and I will choose the origin x equals 0 somewhere on this axis now I can put the object to the right of the origin that's on the positive x or I could put it also on the left side notice that if you look at the equation if x is positive then x dot that's the velocity is positive so this means if the object is to the right of the x-axis its velocity gonna be to the right and the object is moving to the right if you put the object to the left side so that x is negative so x to the power minus 3 will be negative and so x dot will be negative so on the left side the object will be moving to the left so in both cases whether you put the object to the left or to the right the object will be uh, 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 moving according to that choice so let's just pick an, the object to be to the right and its velocity to the right now some students may think because of this type of motion so there must be a force that's pushing the object away from the origin but that's not true remember that the velocity is not directly related to the force the force and the acceleration are related to each other according to Newton's second law so it's the direction of force and direction of the law of acceleration that are directly connected so to understand this problem in more details let's first try to find the acceleration of this object now the acceleration of the object is dv by dt now because the velocity is given as a function of x and according to the hint so instead of finding the derivative with respect to t, we're going to use <coughs> this calculus chain rule that you learned in calculus, saying that dv by dt could be written as dv by dx times dx by dt. Remember now, dx by dt is just the velocity, and dv by dx can be, uh, can be found from deriving the equation up. So dv by dx will be negative 3 b times x to the minus 4 and dx by dt is just the velocity but we already know the velocity as a function of x so you're gonna substitute again the velocity as a function of x and we will reach the following result this is the acceleration dv by dt it should equal negative 3 b square x to the minus 7 now we can make a comment if the object is to the right of the x-axis its velocity is to the right but look at acceleration it's negative so that means even though the object is going to the right away from the origin its acceleration is negative which means to the left and that means the object will be slowing down as it's moving away from the origin Finally, to find the velocity, sorry, to find the force, we just multiply the mass by the acceleration, and you, the result is mass times minus the 3b squared x to the minus 7. Again, here the force is negative, meaning it's to the left. So the force is an attractive force. It's not a repulsive force in this exercise. I hope it's clear and it's uh, considered to be a nice, simple problem to solve. 